Are you looking to build a better website for your podcast? Hey, it's Justin from Transistor, and our team has just finished a big update to our podcast website builder, and I want to show it to you now. All right, so if you already have a podcast website with Transistor, to switch to our new theme, all you have to do is go to that podcast, find the website menu item here, and you'll notice there's a new theme design tab. Click on that. And you probably have the classic theme selected. Just click switch theme. And you'll notice there's a new theme here. Now we're going to be adding even more themes, templates in the coming months. But for now, you can choose this one here. And you'll notice it's quite a bit different from the old one. Just click save changes and you can preview it by clicking here and previewing what the website looks like. Now there's quite a few improvements here. One is we've made these listen badges, these subscribe badges visible on every page. So as soon as people land on your website, they have a quick and easy way to add that podcast to Apple Podcasts or Spotify, wherever they listen. We also have really great episode pages so you can share these landing pages with your audience and again they'll be presented with an easy way to subscribe to the show you'll also notice we have a new podcast website player and as you navigate around it will continue to play here and you can fast forward pause you can increase the speed but uh, this is brand new we think it looks really great Still have your about page and a special subscribe page that they can get to right here. Now this new theme also looks great on mobile. You can check that out here. Again, you've got this great player here at the bottom. Easily add the podcast to Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen. Really nice episode pages. Again, with those subscribe badges right there on that page. Everything's been designed to look great on mobile as well as the desktop. So if you haven't yet set up a podcast website, let me show you how that works. So I'm gonna scroll down, find a podcast here, click on website, and now it's going to take me through the steps of setting this up for the first time. The first thing you'll need to do is choose a subdomain. So you can actually connect a custom domain to your transistor website. So if you have your own .com already registered, you can use that. But to start, just choose a subdomain. So I'll put awesome pod as my subdomain. And if I want to continue to use this as my main web address for my podcast, just have it, you know, awesomepod.transistor.fm, I can do that. I don't need to use a custom domain. Now I can choose the website theme. So if you want that new graphite theme, just select that. Click save and continue. Now you've got the website enabled. We can preview what it looks like out of the box. Already looks pretty good, doesn't it? You've got your episodes here. Your episode artwork can also appear here. So here in the settings, again, if I wanted to add a custom domain, like if I'd already registered awesomepod.com, I could put that in here. I can also put a recommended episode. So if I wanted this to be the recommended episode, I could do that. We've also just added new translations for the menus and labels. So if this is a Spanish podcast, I could select Spanish, click Save, and then if I refresh this here, all of the menus, all of the badges, all of the labels get translated into Spanish. So this will be great for some of our international customers. Currently we have Spanish and French available and we'll be adding a few more languages in the coming months. You can also add some site intro text. So here's a new podcast which appears right here at the top of the home page. I can also add about page content which will appear like this on the website. And over here in the theme design tab I can modify a lot of these colors you see here. So I can choose the header color. I can choose how the text will be displayed. The secondary color which will highlight some of the links. And all I need to do to preview that is to save the changes, head back over here and click refresh, and it'll show you what that looks like.
in terms of customizations, we're really excited to see how creative you get with these new themes that we're, we're releasing. Lots of options here. Still the option if you know CSS or you have a web designer for them to add their own custom CSS right here. And we're really excited to see what you do with these new designs, how you customize them so they fit your brand. Uh, and it's just great to have a new modern podcast website design for all of you to use. Of course, on Transistor, you can create as many podcasts as you'd like from one account. And every podcast you create gets its own RSS feed and also its own built-in podcast website. If you're not yet a Transistor customer and you'd like to try this out, you can go to transistor.fm and you get a 14-day free trial. This will allow you to set up your podcast, import an existing podcast, try out this new podcast website builder, and see for yourself if it's a good fit. As always, you can use our live chat widget to ask any questions you might have. So that's our new podcast website theme and a demo of the changes we're making to the podcast website builder. We've got lots more planned for this year and we'll be launching more updates to this podcast website builder as the year progresses.